The first step in determining rate and rhythm is to spot atrial activity. If P waves are present, it's important to determine the P wave to P wave interval or PP interval. This determines the rate of atrial depolarization. To estimate quickly either an atrial or ventricular rate on a typical 12-lead ECG, one can count the amount of 5 mm boxes in an interval and divide 300 by that number. For example, if there are 4 boxes between P waves, the speed is 300 divided by 4, that is 75 complexes per minute. Which is rate of atrial depolarization in this case? Once the atrial activity and rate are identified, the P-wave frontal plane axis should be obtained. A normal P-wave axis that is minus 0 to 75 degrees typically reflects a sinus node P-wave origin. A simple way of determining a traditional P-wave axis is to verify a positive P-wave vector in leads 1, 2, 3, and AVF, which we will learn in next lesson. Various atrial and junctional rhythms are presented in next topic. They are grouped by heart rate, origin, and then classified by atrial rhythm. You don't need to memorize all of them. Just go through it and get familiar with all the terms at once. Once you get familiar with it, we will show you the tricks to interpret almost any kind of rhythm. Here are the sum of the rhythm we generally see in clinical practice. A normal sinus rhythm is defined as a regular atrial depolarization rate between 60 to 100 per minute of sinus nodal origin, as demonstrated by a positive P-wave vector in leads 1, 2, 3, and AVF. Whereas sinus bradycardia is defined as a rate of atrial depolarization less than 60 per minute at the origin of the sinus node, as indicated by the positive P-wave vector of leads 1, 2, 3, and AVF. Sinus tachycardia is characterized by an atrial depolarization rate more than 100 per minute from the sinus nodes, as there is positive P wave vectors in leads 1, 2, 3, and AVF. It is faster than normal sinus rhythm. And sinus arrhythmia is defined as an irregular atrial depolarization rate of 60 to 100 per minute with sinus nodal origin. Similar to NSR except there is PP interval abnormality. Sinus arrest is a pause of more than 0.2 seconds without identifiable atrial activity. Ectopic atrial rhythm is characterized by frequent atrial depolarization at a rate of 60 to 100 per minute from a non-sinus origin, as it results in an abnormal P-wave axis. The PR interval may also be shortened, particularly when low ectopic atrial origin is present. If atrial conduction is slow, the PR interval may be normal or even longer. Ectopic atrial bradycardia is identified by an atrial depolarization rate of less than 60 per minute from one non-sinus origin, as reflected by an abnormal P-wave axis. This is analogous to an ectopic atrial rhythm, except slower. Atrial tachycardia features regular automatic tachycardia of the ectopic origin, often with an atrial rate of 180 to 240 per minute, similar to ectopic rhythm but faster. Wandering atrial pacemaker have a rate of 60 to 100 per minute from multiple ectopic atrial foci as evidenced by a minimum of three different P-wave morphologies on the 12-lead ECG, possessing variable PP, PR, and RR intervals. These are identical to dysrhythmia with atrial fibrillation, but unlike AF, discrete P-waves are identifiable. MAT is characterized by a rate of greater than 100 per minute with a P-wave preceding each QRS complex from multiple atrial ectopic foci, as evidenced by a minimum of three different P-wave morphologies on the 12-lead ECG possessing variable PP, PR, and RR intervals. The ventricular response is irregularly irregular, given the unpredictable timing of the atrial depolarization and variable AV conduction. Atrial fibrillation or AF is characterized by a rapid, irregular, and disorganized atrial depolarization rate of 400 to 600 per minute characterized by fibrillatory waves. 
In the absence of fixed AV block, the ventricular response to AF is irregularly irregular. Be careful not to confuse this dysrhythmia with WAP or MAT. The key is the shortage of identifiable P waves. Atrial flutter is characterized by a rapid and steady rate of atrial depolarization of 250 to 350 per minute and represents a re-entry circuit into the heart. Atrial waves are called vibration waves and often have the appearance of serrated waves. These are most commonly seen in leads 6, 2, 3, and AVF. The atrial rate is regular, but the ventricular response is also frequent or irregular.